<clears throat> okay. Should be good now. Uh, there goes that. And then... Over here... Boggers, pog in a bog. Ah yes, my uh, my favorite part of uh, Dark Souls. The pog bog. Also, hi Jasper. What's up? How are you doing today? Uh. She can buy carb. I hope you're not also driving the car. If so, then please turn me off and pay attention to the driving. Please be responsible. Don't crash that shit. But also, hi. I'm not driving. Oh, okay, we're fine then. Hi, Graham. What's up? How you doing? I just about burn him inside. How's how's it how's it hanging? How are you holding up after that experience? I lost the car into the nearest wall if I was driving. <laughs> I mean by accident. That's a good that's a good a good distinction there. The both accidentally and on purpose seem like very viable or very believable. Um, possibilities. Uh, oh, fuck this. Okay, dude. Really? God damn it. This was doing so good. And then it... Wasn't anymore. For a few streams, I didn't have to mess with the, with the settings at the start every time, but... Hi, Star! Speaking of stars, right? Like, guess what we're playing today? Um, Bo want to have a Discord. I just want to talk, check up on him, see if he's doing okay. He has a Twitter, and he's not a big fan of social media, so um, I don't think he'll have any luck with that. But that seems understandable. Lana and I were hanging out. She said, "Hey, you know Shans?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Like, I can't get him saying "nice cock" out of my head, so that's the thing. If, if there's any words I'm okay with being remembered by, I think saying nice cock is definitely like... I like that. I like that. Thanks, Lana. <laughs> Stars? There's one right here. I thought you were going to sleep also. Can we get a nice cock in the chat? Please no cocks in the chat. Um, <laughs> what a weird thing to say. <laughs> God. Anyway, hello everyone. What's up? How's life? Sorry that I'm taking a couple extra sec. Oh my God, hello? What the fuck was that? Hoping this cock convents before my sister and her husband get back in the car. <laughs> Time to wrap it up, fellas. I was, but I'm angry and I'm getting drunk. Valid, you know? That's valid. It's definitely not a good state for you to go to bed in. You know, like angry, that doesn't sound good. It sounds like you'd have a hard time falling asleep like that. What the fuck? Is my computer okay? Haha. <laughs> oh, they're here? All right, guys, no more talking about <laughs> Everyone, put the cocks away. Um, so yeah, uh, today we're gonna continue playing. Um. 
Arwa. You're here for the start of the stream? Yes, you are! Hello, Yui! What's up? How are you doing? This is not awkward at all. Look, we're talking- we're- listen, we're just discussing the anatomy of, uh, roosters. Did you guys know? Actually, fun fact, right? Fun fact. One of the, uh, symbols of Portugal. One of the traditional Portuguese icons is actually something um, um, called the Barcelos rooster, um, which, um, hold on. I'm sorry to be postponing the start of the gameplay, but it's the closest thing that's perfect, actually. That's perfect, actually. Look, this is one of our por one of our, our, our um, national symbols. Um, so you could say that one of the uh, nationally recognized uh, Portuguese icons is a black cock. <laughs> anyway, how about? Those video games, huh? Summer games festival. I forget what it's called. I, I watched the, the main event yesterday. Where the fuck? Okay, there we go. <laughs> hey! <laughs> nice <car. laughs> I'm so sorry, Grim. I feel like you weren't joking. Are you like actually just like playing me through speakers? That's incredibly dangerous, I should say. But I appreciate it though. Again, free advertisement. Love to see it. <clears throat> Nodders. <laughs> Nodders. Is there a, is there a No, I don't wanna go there. I don't wanna ask that. I don't wanna ask that. You know what? I don't wanna ask that. We're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna ask that. We're going to resume um the expedition. We're gonna continue playing the video game. All right. Um, this is a good time to wonder if there's like a pause in the game, right? And if when it pauses, if it's like, okay, cool. Not or no. Um, you can cut the head out of a cock and it will run on for a few minutes? Yeah, we were actually talking about that the other day. Something about like the nervous system or something. Oh my god. We good? My laptop is having a having a time. Last time I watched this we were blasting with a tiny rocket ship thingy. Yes. Uh that is what you do for the most of the game. Um actually. And uh it's great. Um if you guys would like, we can go through a little recap of, of uh, where we're at so far. Would you guys like that? Because if not, I'll just... I mean, I mean actually, I kind of need a recap myself. Uh, just have a look at the log here. Uh, oh, I want to check this next, actually. Yeah, I want to check this next. Uh, I don't remember any of the fucking keys. God damn it. I've been playing fucking No Man's Sky. And... <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have a little bit of a, 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 a mechanical conflict in my in my head. Outer Wilds is a fun game. I've, I I can agree so far. Um, okay, there we go. Right, flashlight. What was the fucking scanner thing? God damn it! I straight up forgot all my keys. Hold on. Um, just wait for the tentacles. Not looking forward to that, but you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm an open-minded person. Um, signal scope, there we go, it's Y. All right, gotcha. 
uh, save and exit. I didn't do anything, but sure. Okay, there we go. So I gotta remember where the... Uh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Play Bart so much, I'm so tired when my super gym doesn't work with Anna. I feel like that's going to be my experience right now. I'm going to be expecting to super jump or to drive the, 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 what's it called? The Hot Wheels car in No Man's Sky. Um, oh, I don't remember how this works also. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun. Oh, wait. Yo, I can use this thing in the ship. I didn't know that. That's very good. That's pretty funny. Uh, oh god. Oh god. Yo, wait. Wait. Hold on. This is actually really close. It's like literally right here. Can we just... land here? How do I... Oh. How the fuck do I get <laughs> Oh, okay, gotcha. Unbuckle. Let's go. Uh, so I don't... Okay. Just to be safe. I should probably put this on. I mean, I'm still on the same planet, so it'd be kind of weird if... Suddenly... It's here. What the fuck is that? Hello? You good? Hey, yo, Hatchling, I thought you were taking that tin can of yours into space today. What are you still doing here? Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in the pictures my little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here myself and take a look. So it crashed. I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed, but it's not anything I've seen on Timber Hearth before, and trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Planet tentacles, okay, that's reassuring. Those are called roots, I, I, I believe. Um, or plant tentacles, I guess. You said planet, right? Okay. I guess they can still be tentacles. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? Kind of looks like something that might have come off a dark bramble. Whatever it is, it put down roots in a hurry. I like the look of this thing, Hatchling. Now that's a fact. I think I'll send Marl and Hall lose on it. Best get rid of this mess sooner rather than later. No one can remove an unwanted plan faster than the tree keeper can. Sounds sounds like a plan. Let's get a look at what is inside of the seed first, though. Don't want to set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plan without a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tuff can help me haul out the old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. This guy's pretty. This guy's got a pretty good head on his shoulders. Got to go to bed now. Have a big day tomorrow. Good luck, Jasper. Sleep well. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, it's a good way to lose an arm or two. Yeah. And you guys have only two of those. They're like, well, you don't have two of them to spare. You actually need them. Um. Oh, wait. Now that I'm immortal, though, doesn't this mean that I can just do whatever? Right? And why is the signal coming from here? Right? What did he say he was gonna do? He was gonna use the scout launcher. Like, the one back home? It's kinda sus. How the fuck would you get it? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't seem like I have a, much of an option here, huh? Yeah. yeah, that doesn't look like it's gonna work. Oh wait, scout launcher. There we go. Uh, whoop. What the fuck? Huh? 
Oh, wait, what the hell? What the fuck? Wait, but it's so... Where the fuck is it going? It's so small. Did it burrow? Into the ground? Wait, and that looks like a little camp down there. Right? Yeah, look at that. Do you guys see that? There's like a little campfire over there. Oh shit. What the fuck? I see. Interesting. Hello, toy. Hope you're all splendid. I'm doing great. And I'm doing even better now that you're here. What's up? How are you doing, buddy? How's, how's the wife and kids? Huh. I mean, there's nothing else we can really do here, right? It's not like I can shrink myself down and get in there. Wait, what happens if I talk to you? Um, threw a little scout into the seed. You did, didn't you? And you're telling me it's bigger on the inside than on the outside. That's right. It's gonna be a chore to chop up, and no mistake. Can we even remove a seed that doesn't have the decency to stay the same size all the way through? <laughs> Maybe I better grab an extra axe or three just in case. So that's that's your fucking process? I just told you there's a fucking space bending seed and you still just wanna like chop it up. Um Didn't they come from the Dark Bramble? That's our only lead, yes. That is our only lead. We do still have a lot of other leads to, to look into. I was just really curious to find out what's up with the uh, harmonica signal coming from inside of the planet. Um, but yeah, we still have like fucking dark bramble seed inside the seed. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Uh, seed from the dark bramble crashed here and has already taken root. Tactile wants to use a scout launch to get a look at what's inside. My signal scope picks up the harmonica music when I aim it at the head launch. My little sound is somehow the seed is much bigger on the inside. Right. Right. Oh. Oh, is that what happens? When I launch my scout into the sea that crashed on timber earth, it ends up somewhere in the dark bramble. So it's like, it's like a portal, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Sus. Sus. Uh, wait, that's not what I wanted to do. What is this again? Give it advantage of temporary, it's used by the roster. Okay, gotcha, right. Oh, okay, so this was like the rumor that was telling about the uh, signal from the harmonica. Right, okay, okay, okay. We gotta get back to the furry outpost, though. Um, and I don't think we're gonna have enough time to do it in this... Um, time loop? I don't know what to call them. I don't know what to call them. 
But yeah, I don't think it's gonna be enough time to do much of anything. But fuck it. Still going. Uh where's the oh my god. Fucking hell. The size difference. Right, that's the moon, right? Right. The uh, uh the Adler cock. <coughs> um Fuck. Okay, I forgot how to th how this works. Okay, not like that. Maybe like that. Um Hmm. Okay, there we go. We're approaching. We're approaching. We're approaching. Engage autopilot. I haven't tried this before. Accelerating toward destination. Wow, this thing is so much smarter than I am. Thanks. Landing mode. Wait, landing mode? What the hell? Okay. What am I looking? Is this. Am I rotating around? I think I am. That's good. Uh, yikes. We're fine. It's okay. It's all good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Perfect. Excellent. Adler cock. <laughs> so I think um, we're good here, right? Okay, I still have the suit. Um, wait, this isn't the right- fuck me, this isn't the furry outpost, that's the signal thing. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll just walk around a bit. It's not, not like it's a particularly big t place anyway. We'll find the furry outpost in no time. Uh, where's the sun? <laughs> Uh Okay, I can't see it. We'll be fine. Oh, okay, wait, never mind, we might not be fine. Wait, what the fuck is that? Huh? Oh wait, is this is this that thing that was rotating the um Huh? What the fuck? What is that? Huh. Definitely not gonna have any any time at all to do anything in the furry outpost. Why is Phil Collins in the sun? It's kind of weird. Anyway, um, let me just remember where the place was. Um, I'm not gonna make it, actually. I'm not gonna find it. Which is fine. This is all trial and error. I like the, the, the weird mix of, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go past that. Perfectly understandable. I hope you rest well, Star. Thank you for stopping by. Nighty night. Oh wait, let's... Can we actually? Let's just sit here and watch it blow up. What do you guys think? That sounds like fun. Right? Can't be too much longer now. Oh wait, hold on. Phil Collins is not in the sun. Where the fuck is Phil Collins? Oh, Phil Collins is in the thing that is orbiting the sun. This one I remember seeing from, uh, 
in the planetarium. Okay, that makes a lot more sense though. I don't think Philip Collins would be capable of surviving in the sun. Dude, this is taking too long. I thought we were closer to the uh, explosion. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Uh... <gasps> oh god. <laughs> oh wait, there it is. We found it. <laughs> right on time. The sun's getting redder by the fucking second. That is the music, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Or is it- wait, or is it because I'm here? I actually can't tell. Wait, what is that? Oh! What the fuck? Uh, 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 wait, okay, hold on. Why does it sound like this? Okay, there is the music. Now it's gonna explode. What the fuck? The shit keeps spinning. Thanks for rejecting my marriage proposal. No problem, toy. I'm sorry, I'm just not ready yet. Sick. Okay. You're gonna have to come back here anyway. Um. Hmm. Can we... wait. I don't want to get interrupted during my reading. Fuck's sake, dude. God damn it. <laughs> Hold on. I don't think I finished reading... Did I finish reading this one? Can't remember. Okay, I guess we did finish reading this one. So we're missing that one. Okay. Uh, okay. This should add stuff to my log even if I'm not reading it correctly, right? Okay, maybe not. I'll have to come back and read one more time. Bro, come on. Why are you holding it in for so long, dude? Jesus. Look how red it is. It's like... I really want to see it happen, you know? Now that I know that it does, I really want to see it happen in front of me. Currently waiting 15 minutes to get my insurance to answer call. I'm gonna pass away. Godspeed, TTB. I'm so sorry. That cannot be very fun. You can do it though. I believe in you. Just, just hang in there, alright? Here, let's both wait for something, right? You wait for your insurance to call. We wait for the sun to explode. Let's see which one happens first. Okay. 
for sure the sun explosion. Oh wait, this thing is back. Wait, back? Does it mean it orbited? Wait, it's going right into the sun. Isn't it? Or did it go behind? I can't, well, yeah, I can't fucking tell because it's on the other side. Oh? Oh? Pause, champ. Dude, motherfucker. I think the actual sound exploded before the answer. <laughs> Fucking rope, I'm sorry. Did Jesus Christ. Also, I started the rotation on this thing, and it doesn't seem like it's stopping now. So this must be the- oh. Okay, wait, no, hold on. Jesus Christ. Why is this so loud? This must be the device that they said they were building. That didn't work. And that they were going to build another one of. In, um... Uh, not Dark Bramble. I forget the name of the other planet. Or they built another one of these. Hi, Golf! How are you doing? Oh, there it is. There's the music. Here we go, guys. Buckle up. Get some popcorn. The light show is about to start. Good, how are you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking, Golf. Glad to hear you're doing good as well. comes yeah I don't see the other thing that was flying around anymore I think it might have actually oh there it is here we go oh that looks so pretty Yo, this is the thing that we saw, um, or that I was seeing in the distance. Okay, that looks sick. Holy shit. Sorry, TTB. Um, <clears throat> the sun blew up before your insurance called, I think. Did it? TTP doesn't answer, that might mean that we, uh, you know, that they did call. Okay. Okay, there that, there is that thing again. Can I catch it in time? Wait. Where is that? Wait, is this the thing that the guy was said crashed here? No, right? Right? It couldn't have been. Especially because we could. Mm, actually, I don't know that. Sus. Anyway, we gotta go back to the furry outpost. Finish our investigation there. Holy shit, this is exciting. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, where's my suit? Here we go. Did this update anything? I don't think so. Right, okay. Yeah, we still have to go there. Um, I can read their... Um, I can read the logs more closely now. And I think I didn't check the um the um fuck. 
how do you say the fucking um tape recorder that's in there right okay i think that's it yes there it is no fuck that's not it god damn it it's the fucking uh platforms Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what is that? Hello, Tarm. How you doing? Wait, I actually don't know what that is. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I checked there already. Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. No, no, wait. Did I not land? Fuck. Come on. Come on. Uh. Uh. Okay. Oh, so if I hold space, I'm like orbiting it when I use the uh, directional keys, I think. Right? That's what's happening, I think. Okay, maybe not. Did I swear to God? No. No. Okay, there it is. I see it now. I see it. I see it. I see it. Landing mode. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, we landed directly on the furry outpost. Perfect. Um, and we're good. Let's fucking go. Yeah, are we good? Yes, we are. Got the suit on. Let's go. How's it going, Tarm? How are you doing? Okay, see? Yeah, it's not rotating. Earlier when I messed with this thing, it started moving. Uh, I don't want this. Thank you. Okay, um, let's take this. Play recording. Okay. Wow. I've I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomai locator. It can point out different planets, which is incredibly cool by the way, but from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think I was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Riddle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. Oh, stars above. What happened? Did the thing and did... Yeah, why, why weren't they safe? Was this time loop thing already happening? Sus. Um. Okay. I feel like I'll run my sleep more later though, we'll see. So it's only f That's not a lot of hours. I do hope you get some good proper sleep. Um. Wait, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant steep, and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. The eye. That's what they were trying to find. Right? This is a curious result. It's possible that the eye has stopped calling out its signal. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. I think this is the one that I read, but whatever. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It's sad as me to deposit this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the eye of the universe. The eye of the universe. Right. So that's what they're trying to find. And we will build it. Don't lose hope. Our search for the eye has brought us... Our client closed. Okay, okay, wait. So I did read that one. 
But then, I think I read this scroll too. Is there anything else I'm missing? Should build this new, more sophisticated locator be built. Be the larger than the icing locator is. Uh, Sort of glad you believe it. Hall is ample and available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. It's built there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy this immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the, cra the crash. The crash. The crash. Hmm. Sus. I'll begin constructing on Brittle Hall's south wall immediately then. And Nona and I and those of us originally stranded on the Ember Twin, the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Fair, fair. Yeah, building shit close to the sun. Um. Yeah, sounds uh, sounds like a challenge. Uh, wait. Are there? No, it's just one recorder. I'm losing my mind, sorry. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else to read down here. So maybe the thing that I need to investigate more is this thing, right? And this is locating, right? This is the locator. This locates... this okay that okay what is that also I don't know which planet that is this locates this locates the thing in the distance okay and then this must be the eye of the universe maybe or no So whichever one makes it just go fucking wild. <laughs> wild. Hmm. It might be this. Yeah. Okay, so that's the icon for the eye of the universe. Because it's the one that's not working. What is this locating? Fucking Illuminati ass triangle. Oh, the sun. Okay, cool. Wait, no, that's not the sun, is it? It is. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Um, how the fuck did my ship get all the way- Oh, because it, it started rotating. It probably got like flung around a little bit. Um, okay. There we go, there we go. Right back. Right back headed to Brittle Hall to investigate something that I were doing at the South Pole. Okay, so right back was the one that made a recording. Gotcha. And we're good here. We don't need to um, find anything else. Are you doing? <laughs> we're doing very good. We're doing very, very good. I like this. I like this a lot. This is a really good game. Um, so, hmm. Wait, are you asking for a recap? Or have to eat something? Okay, enjoy your meal, golf. Um, Cause I can give you a recap if you'd like, TTB. Which is actually really helpful that we have this thing. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. I get to get a recap? Okay, okay. So, um, there's this furry outpost on the moon, right? And they were building a locator to find something that they call the Eye of the Universe. And it wasn't working, so they went to build it on somewhere else. I actually did not know that I could uh, see this map here. Um, they built... Oh, wait, this is the thing that's zooming around. This is the thing that I saw that I thought crashed into the sun. Oh shit, wait, it is actually going to crash into the sun. If you look at the tra trajectory, it looks like it's going to. 
Um, I don't know what the fuck this game is. Okay, all right, so I guess I, I should start a bit further back. So, we're an astronaut, right? We come from this, uh, this planet here, Timber Hearth. I'm on the moon of that planet right now. Everything is really small, so like, we have a spaceship where I'm in right now. That's the sun right over there. And I'm gonna lift off. And this is the moon. It's this small. That's my planet, right? So everything is like really tiny. Um, and we were kind of just like thrown out there, right? We have some leads of things to investigate. There was like a race of aliens that came before us. Um, and they were like super advanced and they disappeared. And we recently um, created a device that can translate the writing. Um, so for example, now here, we went to their, to this, um, structure that they built on the moon, that race, they built this structure on the moon. Um, and because we have this uh, fucking series at uh, fucking device, Google translate shit, deep hell thing, we could read the stuff that they wrote in the walls. Um, and they were detailing how they built this structure to locate the eye of the universe that they're looking for i think i think it's it's the eye of something i think the universe um and it wasn't working it could locate other planets google translate for, for god alien languages exactly the way that they write is also very funny because it's like a forum thread it's shaped like a spiral like it branches out into different things it's pretty it's pretty pretty cool um oh this is important to talk and it's why i have to pause if i'm talking for a very long time um because the way this game seems to work is through time loops so when you start the game you're like waking up and you're going on your first trip out into space and you go into your, you go to like the town that you start in and you talk to like everyone there and they t t teach you like how the devices work and stuff, it's like a little tutorial area, kinda. It's not like blatantly a tutorial, they're not, they're not actually like talking you through it, they're just giving you reasons to use like all the shit that you have, like the thing that detects sounds and stuff. Um, and something trippy happens when you go to a museum where they have this brand new sculpture uh, of a member of that race from before, which are furries, by the way. Let's be clear, they're furries, they're goat furries. They have antlers with you. Is it goat? It was actually deer furries. My bad. Um, and it just like wakes up and it looks at you and it does some shit, right? And everyone is like, okay, okay, buddy. Toby's in this game. Yes, exactly. Uh, a whole race of Tobys. Um, but they're gone. Uh, and then what happens later on, right? You head off into your ship after you learn everything. You go off, do whatever you want. You can investigate any of the leads that you have. And after some time passes, the fucking sun explodes right which is what we we're waiting for earlier we we're waiting for the sun to explode and you wake up again but you remember what happened because after you die you start to see like a rewind of everything and you can see like an indicator that the deer statue had something to do with it so basically this you were going through like little loops um where like you just wake up in the same place and you go off into space and then the sun explodes and you go back but you have all your notes right of all the things that you found so you're kind of encouraged to just do whatever because you know it's going to reset anyway um which is really interesting it's a really interesting mechanic i like that a lot it's both really liberating because it makes you feel like you can just do anything and go anywhere. What if it doesn't reset? Hasn't happened yet. Um, actually, I'm lying. It did. It didn't reset the first time I died because um, 
I did die before I touched the statue one time when I was still in the tutorial because I jumped on a well. I thought that would be just a great idea. I saw a big pit and I was like, hell yes, I want to go down there. I jumped, I died, I started the game over. Um, <laughs> what it caused the time reset? Us dying um, because of the sun. I haven't actually tested though if any death results in the reset. Because so far, I've only died, apart from the time I jumped on a well, we've only died because of the sun collapsing and turning into a supernova. Um, so maybe I should try that. That sounds like, a, sounds like a good idea. Let's try to die in outer space. Hello, Jason. How are you doing? Oh, wait, outer space. That's right. Thank you, Jason. Good reminder. This is actually terrifying, but I can do it. Do we do it, guys? Do we try it? I'm gonna take off my suit and get out of the ship. Sound good? Do we do it? Do it? We have one yes? Streaking on stream? Yes. In the video game. I'm scared of me too. This is actually like really scary for me. I think about this... I don't know why, not like it would ever happen, but the idea of just like it, being in space really terrifies me. <laughs> Do it. We're doing it, guys. <laughs> no suits, all right? You're going out. Oh God. Jesus. Okay, it does work. Any death makes you loop back. That was very morbid. I'm very uncomfortable. <gasps> oh, that's funny. I think that sounded different than the times from before. Probably because, you know, they were suffocating makes sense right um cool so any death makes it reset it's just that the sun turning into the supernova is a forced death possibly inescapable too um let me check here the name of this the Demire is a part of it, I feel it is something called the Eye of the Universe, gotcha. So it is the Eye of the Universe. I think we're going to say if it was more like that. It, it does seem a bit taxing. But on the bright side, you have like something to push you forward, which is to solve, because like clearly something's up, right? And we're trying to figure out what that could be. And now we have two paths. Two paths, right? Yeah, Brittle Hollow or Dark Bramble. Although in theory, in theory, we can go anywhere, right? In theory, we can go anywhere. Um, but yes, we have these two leads. Brittle Hollow, wait. Right? Yeah, Brittle Hollow, where they were building the new um, signal locator. And Dark Bramble. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure where I want to go first. Hmm. Do you guys have a preference? Oh yeah, wait, I didn't actually explain what the deal with Brittle Hollow is. Like, why why are we da why do we have a lead to go there? It's because, um... 
back here, back in our planet, there's like, um, we picked up a signal from another um, explorer who is rumored to have disappeared, right? But we picked up a signal coming from the planet. And when I went to check it out, there was a big fucking giant root monster thing. Hello, Shinny, how are you doing? Um, and it has like an entrance. And when we shoot a camera inside of it, it's bigger on the inside. Ha, huh? funny Doctor Who. Um, and there's stuff in there. And apparently that seed, the monster thing, is connected to that Dark Bramble place. So that's the lead. We have to go there. Um, I'm melting. You are very hot, it's true. So yeah, do you guys, do you guys have any preferences? I'm kind of good either way. I'm not really sure myself, but would like to hear your thoughts if there's either option you'd like to go first as far away from the sun as preferable all right dark bramble it is dark bramble it is um now hello what is that thing what the fuck wait Why is there a UFO? Oh wait, it's probably one of the cameras that these guys are shooting around. Never mind, we're fine. Um, okay, I think that's the one. There we go. <clears throat> Reminds me of what I'm marathon Doctor Who. A lot of those apps are really, really bad. <laughs> I hear the show was like good before um, the mall fat guy came in. What the fuck? Wait. Wait, what is that? Like the space is distorting around it. It's pretty weird. I can't get fucking closer to it now though. Hello? Am I moving? I don't think I am moving. I want to go into the light. Can we touch it? Fuck's sake. I can't get- I can't- wait, hold on. Is it because I'm- Oh god, Jesus Christ. Okay, put away. Uh, how do I unlock- okay, there we go. I want to go to that, that thing. Please, please let me get closer. Wait, why can I lock on that? Huh? What am I locking on? There's nothing there. What the fuck, dude? I'm losing my mind, actually. Hold on. Back when I value my time much less. It's it's nice to try new things sometimes, you know? Oh. Why? Oh. Oh, I went too far. Gotcha. So, not worth chasing whatever that is. Wait, I want to go there. There we go. This is just how space works. That's right. That's right. It is. Wait. Wait. Fuck's sake, dude. I'm so bad at this. Why am I, like, am I going backwards? 
what is happening here? Okay. Engage autopilot. Let's go. This will work, surely. Thank you, Yui. Good reminder. Everyone, drink up. Hydration is very important, especially when you're out in space. What the fuck? Like, where do you even land here? Oh, wait. We go into the white stuff. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Because the seat had white things in it. But I was too big to fit inside. However... Uh, okay, this might be a bit challenging. Uh, no. There we go. Uh, Oh shit. <sighs> okay. So this looks pretty identical to what we saw when we shot the camera inside of the small seed. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hmm. Does that kill me? It does. Interesting. So bad news, Shinny. Um, we're not going to Dark Bramble. Um, we're gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, we will go back there eventually, but now that I've seen what happens, when you find it immediately. Wait. I could check that, couldn't I? No brambles from- okay, fine, we'll go there again. Maybe I just need to outmaneuver the monster. Right? We go again. Oh wait, hold on. Actually. Let me- Safety first, you know. I mean, we technically were going to this time, or like the previous time, but, um, well, you saw what happened, right? We kissed the inside of the mouth. Oh god, oh god, oh god. We, um, might have to restart again, huh? Wait, is the- oh my god, wait, it actually just completely blew up. Hmm. Wouldn't it be funny if I- oh god, wait, where's the sun? Wait, I am shooting out. Okay, wait, no, never mind. Why is it getting obscured? Huh. Well, this is gonna be a bit of a bust. Can I... 
I'm literally just like moving farther away from it. I'm not even sure how. Like what happened to me? Speaking of dying, all the rain finally confirmed to actually exist. I mean, we knew it existed. We just, well, didn't know anything beyond that, right? Now there's even a release date, Pog you. I have to say, I personally don't really care about it, but it was what everyone was waiting for. You know, they wanted it to exist. Did, wait, what? No, it was like announced and shit, right? They only ever gave us a teaser. Yeah. Yeah. You don't... Well, I mean, okay. I guess that's not true. See, so you don't make a teaser for something that's not gonna happen. <clears throat> well. It's not a thing you got cancelled? Nah. Um... Well, this is kind of fucked. We're just gonna wait for death now. Because there's nothing else I can do. I'm still moving away from it. Happened that a cool Xbox Dragon game? Dragon's Dogma? I remember that? I don't remember that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shinny. So how about that weather, huh? Actually, wait. If I quit, doesn't it make it so that it restarts the cycle? Scale bound? What is that? Huh? Scale bound? I have legitimately never seen this before. Huh. <laughs> now nobody will ever see it. Unfortunate. That's alright though, you know? Not everything works out in the end, and that's okay. Fuel level critical. Okay, dude, I'm actually just gonna do this. Restart loop. Yes. Quit the main menu. There we go. Uh, wait a second. You one moment. Mm. 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 All I need on Monday is dr Oh, wait. Are they making another one? <gasps> okay, wait, hold on. Quickly. No, okay. So the signal is already here. Which means that's either not the thing that's landed or the thing landing is irrelevant. Uh, I'm making another one, we don't have linked info. I see, I see. Oh well. It would be cool to get news on the uh, new Fable game. But honestly, like, I just. I'm not too pressed about things coming out. There's already too much out. Is there 
MMO did amazing. Capcom made an MMO? Also haven't heard about that. Um, wait. I wonder if... Oops. Okay, well. Bye, Scout. Did anything get added to the log here? That would be pretty funny. Huh. Okay. Oh, there's a dragon dogma MMO. I see. Interesting. I don't have a dogma too. You know what I'm <laughs> What does that even mean, Shinny? <laughs> I can't even like I can't even tell if you're being aggressive or the meaning of what you said is so unclear that I can't understand what you're saying. But yes, hi dragon, how are you doing? I prefer it that way. Have it your way. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to the other place. Uh, which is Brittle Hollow, Brittle Hollow. South Pole, Brittle Hollow. Gotcha. Okay. And we go. Um, can I actually just retrieve? There we go. Okay. A playoff game tonight. Good luck. Also, got a new mouse last night. Let's go. How are you? Is it better? God, wait. <laughs> Hello, explorers. Hello, wolf. How you doing? So how come Brittle Hollow gets their own, like, fucking mini sun? That's kind of a scam. Jesus Christ. Wait, what? What the? What the fuck? Hello? What is happening in this fucking planet, dude? Bonk. And use that, but he has a huge badonk. <laughs> Millions die. No, it literally landed nowhere. I think. It, I think. Could be wrong, but. So. This looks to be a bit bigger than the moon. Would love to know why the fuck there were things just like. flying around. <laughs> hmm. I'm in danger. Be pretty funny if I just like died here. Okay, I don't know if this is the north or the south pole. Looks like we're in the right place. Oh! Crunch. Don't think that's supposed to. Oh! The. L the f the the fucking private sun is spitting on the planet. Very cool. Fantastic. Love to see it. Yo, let's go. Read. Feldspar's jetpack spare jetpack fuel. It's annoying to schlep across the planet to the ship if you can't use my jetpack, so I'm leaving this here. Check with my little scout. I do e To use it. Hornfels, you burned marshmallow. And the scouts integrity reading said this place piece of brittle hollow is as stable as any, but who knows? If the fuel's still around, feel free to use it. If not, well, whatever you're reading this note, I'm sure you've got bigger problems. <laughs> Thanks, man. You burned marshmallow, that's cute. Um I was happy to see some exploring while working. I did you were here last time, right? I remember that. Last Friday. I do apologize. 
uh, I feel bad sometimes when I start playing something that people are interested in seeing, but then I only play it on like Fridays because that's my day for playing new games. Huh. May I'll sneeze these little glowing floaties? Not always. Sometimes. Sometimes I also like sneeze so hard like my joints hurt. Um, which is actually more frequent than seeing the floaties. And also incredibly annoying. I, I do not recommend- why the fuck? This is the same thing as, as my ship. Yo, this is a skeleton of one of the furries. Holy shit. Oh yeah, the guy that came here isn't here. So maybe... Oh, he might be in the other pole. I'm <laughs> watching all 10 playthroughs, let's go! <laughs> it's all good. Oh god, wait a minute. What the fuck? I don't like this. The, the constant fucking explosion. Um... Permanent floaty sees my mucus is my eyeballs be trying up. Is that how that works? The hanging city below. 50 meters below. What the fuck? In this hole? Jesus Christ. Wait. If you can fit a city down here down there. Hmm. Interesting. To our friends on the on Brittle Hollow, I just warped here from White Hole Station on the other side of Brittle Hollow's Black Hole. Our design worked. We've successfully recreated warp travel. What the fuck? I don't know how close it is to his original design, but as long as as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. I knew we could do it. Cas Casalva, I hope you're reading this. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they are accurate, they would violate casualty. Causality, not casualty. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the White Hole Station. If you en route me, me there, we can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't talk us up. <laughs> this is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Ha. Huh. Good old days of jumping through black holes. Very cool. Hi, Danny. How you doing? Can I hang a seal of something very carefully? True. With a lot of uh, balancing dexterity skill. Huh. These look suspicious. Hmm. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. That's not very nice. I need more oxygen than that. Actually, I might not. I can't remember how long we have in the um, thingy, in the loop. I guess that's what they're called, right? Loops. Let's look around here a little bit more. See what we see. Just turn the ground upside down, of course. It's that easy. How could I have been so silly? Silly champ. Honestly, it impresses me to no end that you guys listen through this. What the fuck is this? Wait, I'm actually gonna suffocate though, because there's I'm not seeing any uh sources of uh you know that thing air. So we're gonna die. Yeah, but it's fine, honestly. Like we die all the time. It's okay. See, like thing is just falling all all around us. I feel like at any point we might get crushed by one of the. Uh, one of the thingies from the private sun. 
or we might suffocate. Inevitably, the sun's going to like expand and kill us either way, so... There's that too. Ow. I forgot I could do this. Hey, man. As I observe the phantom moon that sometimes greases in the night sky, your thoughts interest me. I'm interested in your playful moon. It is much like its violent friend, Hollow's Lantern. This moon isn't volcanic to, an, uh, to my unaided eye. Sometimes it leaves its friend, Hollow Lantern, for nights at a time. The nights the moon circles the planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Compliment your eyes. How can you imagine it disappears? Hypothesis and shift in the light spectrum? I suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. Oh dear. Uh, there can exist too much lava. I certainly really prefer retention. No hypotheses. I imagine there will be none of us left. Hmm. Sorry for the speed reading, but I just wanted to get that. Uh, Collected before, uh, ow. I might die, actually. Can I make it to the ship in time? Let's find out. Lower the gates. Holy shit, wait, did I make it? God damn. Holy. It's that easy, guys. It's the it, it's 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 that. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't fucking die. Wicked. I should add wicked. Hold on. Let me add wicked. Actually, while I'm at it. Uh. Epic gamer moment. I just jab a plant in your space helmet. You know what? You should be running that place. Thank you, Yay. Good reminder. It's been, it's been a while since I've actually uh, drank some water. So I do appreciate um, you guys uh, um, watching over me. Scary. Um, Epic Games Launcher, that's right, free Discord. Um, I mean, these aren't just my submissions. No, I don't want to submit new ones. I want to go to the public library. Wicked. Uh, add it to my channel. There we go. All right, might take a refresh, but I've added Wicked. As an emote. Very cool. Um, <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I actually can't touch the upper side of my laptop without it hurting my fingers because it's so hot. God damn. Um. Quantum moon? So now it just looks like I'm screaming at YouTube. Wait. Oh yes, yes, yes. I don't think it will uh, show up during the stream. I think, but in the next one, we'll be good. There's a white hole station at the other side of Brittle Hollow's black hole. Brittle Hollow's black hole. What the fuck even? What? Huh. 
Huh. See with the chat thing you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A gamer. Huh? Goggies? Poggy Woggies? Um. Hmm. Where do we go next? Warp technology sounds very interesting to me. I'm saying this as if I could, like finished exploring this place, but I haven't. So that's definitely one of the options would be to just like look around here more. Um, kind of fuck it. We'll just stay here until it explodes. I wonder if that's the quantum moon that they were talking about. Hmm. It doesn't look much like a moon, but you know. What looks like anything in this game, anyways. Something on the other side of the planet, that's right. And I'm pretty sure there are more structures as well. Even in the- even in where I was looking. I'm pretty sure I didn't finish seeing everything there was to see. Whee! Whee! Ugh. It was definitely a very quick very quick look through everything oh god I'm getting close um definitely feels like a gamble to be walking around here though with all the um you know all the mortar fire ow Do I risk it? Do I just keep going like this? It's oh my god, wait a minute. Oh. I'm definitely going down here. Huh? Huh? What? Wait, this is the thing. This was the thing that was circling the the the, the planet. This is it. The fuck is all this stuff though? Can we go to it? I mean, kind of hard considering that there's like no gravity. I love how it distorts the UI as well. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> cool. The fucking noises this game does, holy shit. Okay. So there's a black hole in the middle of Brittle Hollow that teleports us to the weird distorty star close to the Brittle Hollow. Did I get anything new from that death? Doesn't seem like it.
Oh, and I guess I was in the North Pole, right? Hmm. Hmm. Go to Fuck the Sleep book. That's a very good book. That's an excellent piece of literature. Truly a, a classic. Inside the Seed. Dangerous combination of words. Wait. Okay. Oh, okay, so that's why I didn't find him, because I was in the North Pole, I guess. So we gotta go to the other pole now. Thank you. Good reminder. Changes the view. Okay, wait. Gear options. Oh. Oh, oh, that's sick. Wait. Can I turn this on? Reduce time when talking to characters on reading journals or signs. This will prevent character animations from playing during conversation. I'm okay with that. There are certain periods of time cannot be frozen. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. I like this. Yeah. So I'm, I, I don't like to like rush my reading of things because I keep thinking like, oh fuck, dude, the sun's gonna fucking explode. Um. Yeah. That's safe, it did. Cool, let's go. That's a good setting. I don't remember seeing this before. I guess they don't enable this by default. Mm -mm. Do you think it could be because the, it would give away the fact that there's like a time element to take into account? That would be pretty smart. I like that. I don't like reading things, period. That's fair. Um, okay, so Brittle Hollow again. This time, we go to the other pole. It's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Okay, it's not the right button. I keep feeling like fucking shift accelerates. Make people read to me? I can do that. If it's between... Um, between reading something myself and someone else reading it for me, I, I can't. Audiobooks are like the bane of my existence. I can't do that shit. I can't listen to audiobooks. I much prefer reading something myself. I don't chat audiobooks. I think I I think I tried one. I'm saying this, but like I guess it'd be kind of weird if I hadn't actually tried one. I'm pretty sure. I'm actually not sure though. I might not have tried it, but I think I did. Either way, like in concept, in theory, I would prefer to read something myself. Um. Thanks, man. Very cool. Bro, that's like right next to me. Relax. The fuck? That he can't play games? How come? Oh. <sighs> Wait. How the fuck do I get in here? Also, why is the sun like attacking this thing? It feels like they were too dangerously, like, um, aimed here. You know what I mean? Kind of sus. Oh, okay, there's an entrance right here. Uh, no knowledge of any kind. 
we would be better off with that any knowledge hmm. oh wait I'm here I did it I put the ship down safely um in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm proud of you I can't do that yet a few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks <laughs> one of my better attempts Feldspar would barely have laughed at me I bet that's the good news. The bad news, I, um... Haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken. And I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now, if there were one. P probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know that there are paths below the surface. I'm going to add north to the ruins in the on the Ecuador to find my a way down. Okay. So that's why this shit is all, like, fucking broken. Wait, oh, oh, this is his ship. I was like, wait, I don't remember parking my ship here. I see. So in the place where I died last time, because I went into a black hole, there might be other paths. Ow. Oh. That lead to here. Cool. I like that. I like that not that uh notion. You know? It's like yeah, fucking okay, wait a minute. Okay, wait a minute. Hmm. Wait, what the fuck? This is so confusing. Where the hell am I? Uh uh I see hmm I guess because it's a gravitational pull right that would make that would make sense wait what the fuck wait no I want to go there let me go in let me go in uh I'm only getting farther away again. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Pause, champ. Okay, no, 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 okay, dude, okay, dude. This is a bit of a navigational challenge, I think. Fuel level critical. Unfortunate. Probably gonna die here again, to be honest, but... It's for science, guys. We're donating our bodies to science. Ah. Using oxygen as propellant? You can do that? It's kinda fucked. Yo! Oh my god. Please, let me go in. Uh, let's go. Easy. Um. What? The fuck? Um... Ha! Huh. Ember Twin Projection Stone. Hold on. What the fuck just happened? Let me... Let me take a, a minute here. We don't actually know what the fuck this is, right? Because... This isn't where we were trying to go. 
We were trying to go around the fucking surface. Thank you. Um, we were trying to go around the surface into the underground, I guess. Because if the door was blocked and it's like a dome, I guess theoretically you could go like under. But we ended up falling into the black hole again on the inside of the planet that puts us outside. But there's like a little piece of structure. It looks like their architecture, right? Same. That's a universal feeling. I'm pretty sure across across everyone here. Why know things when you can just not, you know? You avoid so many problems by simply not knowing things. Oh, okay. Welcome to the White Hole Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, don't worry, you aren't the first. This warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body, in this case. Brittle Hollow. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment to be warped. If you look up if you look up while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happen when the astral body is directly overhead. What the fuck? So this is the the, 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 the white hole station? What was it called again? Cooler con? You don't have the currency? Do you want me to do it for you? Hold on. Here. I'll, I'll abuse my power. What the fuck? I'll abuse my powers. Hold on. Uh... There we go. Beautiful, man. Alright, Jay abused his powers as well. I guess we get a... Actually, I don't know what happens. Nothing happened, right? It only played just the one, right? Sorry, Jay. Double whammy. Yeah. You have three more. Holy shit, you fucking loaded. God damn. God damn. My points. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. What the fuck? So we're in the white hole station. And Ember Twin Projection Stone, what does that mean? And what are the these are like Okay, wait no, this one goes up. This one goes down. Right? That makes sense. Oh, oh let's go! Sick. One of those funny gravity stones? Look okay. oh wait, why is this What the fuck? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Is this... Aligning with something? Yo, it's that thing that keeps... Moving. I think that's the interloper, right? Yeah, that's the interloper. Interesting. Oh fuck, the music's coming in. Time's about to run out. Okay, so this just makes it rotate in a different direction. Understood. Understood. I already forgot how I got inside of this- Okay, wait, no, I remember now. I came in through that boob over there. Um... Amber Twin Projection Stone, and where would you put this? Oh. No, wait. It looks like it might go there, right? I mean, where else?
awesome. I have a fucking rock with me now. <gasps> Wait! Oh, this is interesting. Can I make it to the... Oh, fuck. It's so far, though. What happens if I just hold on to this? You know? Like, is there a way to preserve... Physical things? Your notes get written down. Right? But what about... Material stuff? Perhaps if I make it to the ship? Hey, pro, what's up? Thank you, good reminder. It's been a while since I drank some water, so I really appreciate you guys looking after me. Um... And would you ever buy woods? Also... Braiding, um, right now, actually, right now, this very second, um, bread. When does TP braiding start? Um, I don't know. She knew not to come over and braid my hair. I can't do it myself. I don't even know what a braid is, to be completely honest with you. So, whenever you want, Chinny, I guess is the answer to your question. Um, also, I'm doing great, Pro. Thank you for asking. Glad to hear you're doing well as well. Oh, fuck. I don't think... I'm... Wait. Can I make it in time? It's pretty far away. Oh, God. Let's go, my legs. Wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, as soon as I was, like, in range of the ship, or literally as I was about to enter the ship, what if, like, a fucking ball from the private sun hit it? I think that would be pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I don't know what you would look like with braided hair. I have no idea, to be honest. I really don't know. Space thieves now? It's not theft if... Right? The race is dead. Like, completely. It's not really theft anymore, right? This is my emotional character. It's a poor character and also they... <laughs> Are we sure about that? Well, I don't know. And perhaps taking this thing will help us figure out if that's the case. If they are or not. Um, I'm really just like holding this now. Okay, wait. Um, <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oops. I guess I'm just holding on to this thing now. It gets shot out of space. I guess we space thieves after all. Yes. You're right. The sun is a cop. This sucks. I don't know what to do with this thing now. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I thought I'd be able to drop it, but I can't. I literally can't. The button input is no longer here. What the fuck? Let me drop it. Why? God damn it. 
What does this say about the Whitehall station? Oh! So it teleported me to what I was aligned with. Which in case was Brittle Hollow. Was. Yeah, it was Brittle Hollow, so I came back. Huh. Drive into the sun. I'm gonna have to do that at some point. And you know what? No time like the present. Am I right? We're about to run out of time anyway. With the uh, time loop, I mean. Stream, we still have like 30 minutes. Let me close my eyes real fast. Sure thing. I got you, king. Am I fucking... No, I'm not. Dude... Why can I never fucking pilot this shit correctly? Okay, this goes up, this goes down, this goes forward. Okay. Am I getting closer? Am I? Okay, I think I am. Cool. All right, guys, it's been it's been nice knowing you for this time loop. Be back, be back in a second. It's kind of horrifying if you think about it. But probably less so than suffocating in outer space, right? We did do that. We did do that. See, that was different. Hey, man. Uh... <laughs> the sun is going to go supernova, by the way. Oh yeah, the observer has an exhibit about that. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. I wonder... Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Can I talk to people other than this guy? That'd be pretty interesting, right? They might just accuse me of being out of my mind, right? Ooh. Ow. <sighs> I did see that happen, actually. Um... God groundhog me like this, so I'd honestly just sleep every single day away. Horse. 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 You groundhog day yourself? It's pretty powerful. Uh, no thanks, I'm good. Okay, cool. Guess I can't do anything about that. How about the guy up here? Can I talk to him? To them? Sorry. Uh, they're not here at all. I guess they're probably one of the guys down there. I was over there and lost the house in years. Pogger. Let's go. Well grounded. Like those, um... Like those, um... God, what are they, what are they again? You know? Like those videos, like fucking... The, the bald guy gets grounded. I forget his name. The bald cartoon guy. There's like a whole like series of videos like that. Mm hmm. Why is this shit like not working right? Okay. 
Does it? What? Am I just stupid? Oh, maybe it just has like a limit. Fuck's sake. In that case. Oh god, wait. I can fall down here? What the fuck? Wait. Oh, that's right. I don't drown now. Because I have the suit. Right? <laughs> Let's fucking go, guys. <laughs> Who needs a spaceship, am I right? Brave traveler. No one saw that? It's okay. They should see that. Learn from our mistakes. That's what this game's all about. Fucking up. Starting over. Being stuck in an inescapable loop. And I need for the ship, exactly. See, I can die by myself. I don't need a ship to fucking crash into another planet, I can just do it at home. With a jetpack. Easy. The day recess, they won't learn from it. They won't know what happened. I will though. Right? That's the thing. We're learning. We're aware that time is resetting. That's why we can talk to that guy and be like, Hey, by the way, I just fucking died. I refuse to learn. Well, I'm playing the game, so... That's kind of rough. Uh, okay. Where am I going now? Wait, we still didn't figure out what the fuck was up with the Brittle Hollow, right? The more we explore, the more fucking questions we have. Being forced to learn out of- Oh no, I'm not forcing you to learn, I'm just saying I'm playing. I'm learning. Kinda. To some extent with questionable speed um, but I'm learning right you don't have to that's fine I'm okay with just explaining things over and over to you that's okay what the what is that? Gay rights. Hold on. Uh. We good? It. We're not, we're not. We're not very good, I think. But um. We're good adjacent. Right. Yeah, that'll be fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, what the fuck is that? Unidentified signal nearby. Who the fuck's playing a bagpipe over here? What the hell? Distress beacon? From fucking who? Recording? Is everyone unharmed? This is new. No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or escape pod 3? No, I... I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods as the stress signals, however. 
With any comfort, both paws must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... That's right, this person's name is Vagina. That's correct. Thatch! The moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. The volcanic moon? Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We did find shelter. And quickly, the volcanic moon will be gone for long. I observe several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to consider construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. So is that a different moon? Because, I mean, this moon's certainly spitting shit at us. But what if they're talking about the other moon? The one that disappears. Yo. What the fuck? That's the only thing I took away from Vocalite Monday. But it, you took something away from it, you know? Gay rights campfire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is funny. Uh, begin flight log. Skip part one. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated. Awaiting departure from vessel. Launching escape pod 3, launching escape pod 2, launching, esc launching escape pod 1. Collision imminent, preparing for impacts. Scanning external environments, scan complete. Minor structural instability is detected, pockets of breathable air detected, adequate solar energy detected. Hospitable. Interesting. I like how they're putting like different, um... It's like different layouts for the text. Do you still read it the same way? You still gotta like translate it and shit? But they're like d different devices and like forms of writing. That's really... It's really interesting. <sighs> Thanks you. It's been a while since I uh, last drank some water. So I definitely appreciate um, you guys looking after me. Um... Interesting. Is there anything else inside the ship? Doesn't seem like it. No, no, I took it. It's stealing. Not learning. No, no, no. You copied it, perhaps, because it didn't go anywhere. Copying isn't theft. Okay, what the fuck? <gasps> I see. Okay. 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 Use caution. A black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. Good advice. It would truly suck to accidentally fall into... Uh, a black hole. That would really be... Uh, unfortunate. I, 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 I do have to say. What? Oh god. Man, you really say be careful and then you build the most structurally unsafe... ...set of stairs. That I've ever fucking seen in my life. Yeah, you wanna make sure you do it on purpose, exactly. If it's on purpose, it's for science. If it's accidentally, it's a uh, forehead. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than any we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. 
Settlement. Wait. What the fuck? Okay, also, can we just, like, point out how pretty this is? What the fuck, dude? It's not just... Too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. This is what they were looking for. The, the, the eye that they mentioned before. And that's, okay, that's the depiction of it. No Domai clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. How do we carbonate the signal? Well, for one thing, it wasn't us, it was the furries. Um, then we don't know what method they used, probably not carbon dating. Um, and I don't think they quite successfully managed in actually dating the signal. That's what they're trying to do. Um, they're trying to find it so they can ask it out. I like how the... That's really clever too. The way you like approach this, and you can see, you can see that very clearly. It's very hard to miss this when you're like walking down here. I was like, wait, that's a glowing fucking thing that you probably seen before. That's really clever. Um, who knows what fairy, what math fairies use exactly? How do you date a signal? How do you hold the signal's hand? Very gently. Very lovingly. With a smile. Wait. Okay, no, this goes further down. Okay. I date the internet. Don't we all? Three minutes oxygen remaining. Man, that sucks. Imagine breathing. Hmm. Oh, well. Speak of the devil. The lattice appears. There we go. Uh, I'm probably like missing some shit. Oh, <laughs> what can I say? Except untranslated no my writing. We can hear the other escape pods of stress signals, which gives me hope. Fully, are you are you still here? I am unsure how to survive in this place without you. I am unsure. How to be me without you. That sounds like you have some work to do on a personal level, my friend. Oh, man. Oh, man. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, Anona and I have checked before the warp, and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. 
we worked to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe. Where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't the problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in Escape Pod 3. Huh. The internet probably has standards or already has a boyfriend. Do you really think the internet would be monogamous? I don't think so. So the Bramble is basically a tentacle monster. Um... We don't... know. Although that is a... Hmm. So this is a standard thing, ouch. Well... The thing about standards is that you're not forced to conform to them. If you don't meet a person's standards, that's as much of an indicator that they're not for you, as much as it is that you're not for them. Not good enough to date the internet, or the internet's not good enough for you. That's that's the thing. Does this go any deeper? I don't think so. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Shenzi. Yeah, no problem. Do genuinely, genuinely believe that, though. Standards are... Can work both ways. Uh... Hmm. Seems to be the end of this road, yeah. This is weird though. Why does it keep going this way? Maybe. Aha! Look out, look out below. Look out for the gravity hole. For should you slip and lose your grip, then into space you'll go. <laughs> Who the fuck wrote that? Jesus Christ. Fucking joker over here. Wait, hello? Oh! Wait a minute. The planet itself is falling into the hole. It's actually, like, you know? It's actually falling apart. Look, there's something coming out. That was probably another pe- another- ow. Okay, well, rip. Interesting. That's so fucking wild, dude. There's a fucking black hole inside of the planet. And the planet is actively falling apart into the hole. Holy shit. This looks familiar now, this structure. It might have to do with the furries, after all. Um, I feel like the game has lots of timing. Yes, for sure. It's very... Time is a big factor in it. 
Especially with how it, the whole loops mechanic works. It's it's a long room. It seems a lot more vast than I was anticipating, which is funny considering how one of the first impressions that you get when you're playing this is, wow, everything is tiny, what the fuck? <laughs> but now you're finding a f a building on the inside of the planet and black holes and a portal. Planet with ah yeah <laughs> Jesus Christ that's its plusy I don't like that um that comparison because it makes me think of a per of like imagine the same thing happening to someone right imagine if you were being consumed by your your own orifices right. How fucking full is this table gonna be by the time we're done? What the fuck? Now the game ain't tiny? Exactly! Self imp- Yeah, basically. Basically. Or not even self, you know? You can just say imploding, right? Then I might warp to the solar system in a spaceship called the Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the eye of the universe. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. That's the freedom of my escape pods. Never made it out of the Dark Bramble. Never made it out of the Dark Bramble, so it's inside of it. And the freedom of my escape pods crashed in our solar system. All three escape pods were launched from something called the Vessel, which was badly damaged. Well, the is basically encountering a signal. Dark Bramble is snaring the Nomai vessel. Three escape pods is evacuating. Right. Wait, maybe... Oh, shit, wait. Maybe this indicates... It does. It's the twins. So one is stuck inside the Bramble. One is stuck inside the Bramble. The other is in um, Brittle Hollow, and the other is in the Twins. And the Vessel is also inside the Bramble. I am so sorry, Rafa. I haven't set it up yet. I didn't forget, but I haven't set it up yet. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry, but thank you. Next month is exactly <laughs> for the two. Oh my, oh my God, you're right. What the fuck? Ah, no. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a while. Thank you for the reset. Getting in this game is gonna be easy. Four hours later, it's getting big. <laughs> I don't think, like. Easy is definitely not the right word, because it doesn't seem easy at first. It seems like the technical barrier of everything that's going on is 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 pretty pretty thick. It's a pretty thick barrier when you go into the game, but in terms of the um, the um, the depth, literally, holy shit. Have you played this before, Rafa? I'm kind of losing my mind. <laughs> I'm kind of losing my mind. Uh, we're in this thing pretty vibing. And all that young folk things. We sure are. You, you... I had heard a lot of praise about this game before. 
And I knew like basically close to nothing about it. And I'm very quickly understanding why people speak so highly of it. It's very, very good. I'm not too far in. But it's already really good. Really, really interesting. Holy fuck. Ah. Oh. God, where do I go next? I don't even know. We still haven't finished looking through uh, the fucking... Um, the hollow. I confuse it with Outer Worlds. Me too. Me too. And also, somehow, I confused it with the uh, Firewatch. Don't ask me how. I, I, I also don't know. But I confuse it with Firewatch. It's the first I've ever seen or heard of this game. I, I would hear about it a lot. Uh, but that's the f yes. Outer Worlds is the is the um, Black Isle. It's New Vegas too, basically. Um, it probably did win awards. I think it did. Wait, let me check the store page. BAFTA winner. <laughs> the Game Awards nominee. SXSW nominee. Yep, it uh it certainly got nominated for stuff. And wait, does this say it won the BAFTA? Believable. Very believable. All reviews overwhelmingly positive. It's it's really something else. <laughs> It's really something else. Holy shit. I need to look at the map again real quick. God. Oh shit, wait, I was gonna say that I should try to find the... Because they mentioned that there's a there's a, a structure from the furries back here. And the, the, the portal in the in the lab, in the fucking, where is it? In here, right? In the white hole thing? can lead to there so I could just do that instead of like trying to find I mean then again it's not like it's too hard to find shit dude that's so well I wonder if you can like visibly see from the outside uh brittle hollow collapsing more and more as the as the time loop progresses that would be so interesting Holy shit. Anyway, I'm so sorry. Okay, um, I gotta wrap it up. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, uh, thank you, TTB. And thank you, Shinny. I, I, I think I saw Shinny use the command earlier too. I appreciate that. I did what now? Wait, didn't you? Yeah, you did. You did. You used the uh, the end command. Um. Anyway. <sighs> Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> um. I can't mod to save my life, and yet here you are. Here you are.
doing mod things without even being a mod. That's power. That's power. Saving my life though. Aww. Aww. Uh, sorry, give me a second here. <laughs> Wicked! There it is. Um, okay, sorry. Does it show up on the stream yet? Yes, yes. I don't, I think it only will, like, next stream, because I would, ha I think I would have to reopen OBS for it to work, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway. Hello, anyone watching this on YouTube? Thank you for checking out the VOD. Unfortunately, we are moving into a recurring segment of stream where we watch memes shared within the community. Due to copyright reasons, I can't include this in the YouTube VOD, or I will get in trouble for it. So feel free to come by the stream while it's live on Twitch, and also the Discord server where we have a channel where we share these memes. Um, in the meantime, thank you for watching the VOD on YouTube. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.